One of the functions of the Holonomic Institute is to further the work of Dr. Robert Fulford. Dr. Fulford was the originator of many things in osteopathic medicine as he staked a very broad terrain of everything from electromagnetism and psychospirituality and reincarnation to use of things like percussion hammers in the practice of osteopathic manual methods. Uh, to that end, uh, I was one of the people who was teaching osteopathic percussion techniques in the late 80s going into the 1990s. But unfortunately, my medical students from around the country tell me that they see percussors in medical osteopathic medical departments in the schools, but they never see them used. And um, for those who are not familiar with percussion techniques, uh, there is a dimension as large as craniosacral open to you if you learn about osteopathic percussion techniques. To that end, uh, Dr. Richard Koss, who is an, also an osteopathic physician, uh, used to teach courses with Dr. Fulford. And he and I have discussed with other osteopathic physicians forming a percussion academy in a way similar to how the Cranial Academy was formed by the AAO, the American Academy of Osteopathy, after Dr. Sutherland died back in 1949. Uh, a group of osteopathic physicians who were members of the American Academy of Osteopathy uh, got together and realized that uh, craniosacral techniques were too valuable to be lost, and yet that they could also be mistaught or used incorrectly. And so uh, the profession set up the Cranial Academy. But the Cranial Academy is autonomous from the American Academy of Osteopathy and the AOA, although it's considered a component organization. And what I am proposing is that we form a percussion academy in a way similar to the Cranial Academy. But when the Cranial Academy was formed, it was also recognized that there would need to be educational programs to teach the techniques to up-and-coming osteopathic physicians. And so, in order to do that, a faculty of qualified practitioners who really understood cranial techniques and how to teach them would be required. And so the Sutherland Cranial Teaching Foundation was set up. Um, all of this is under the auspices of the American Academy of Osteopathy. And what I am proposing to be done is that a Fulford cranial, uh, Percussion Teaching Foundation be set up in order to train practitioners in how to properly teach percussion techniques as they are a very valuable adjunct to osteopathic manipulation and should be included in the osteopathic curricula around the country as craniosacral techniques are also uh, a component of all osteopathic curricula. Uh, these are advanced techniques and are not to be taught at beginner uh, manipulation levels, but they should certainly be part of the osteopathic armamentarium, so to speak, of tools that we have in order to help change body physiology. Uh, percussion can do things to the body that you cannot do with your hands. And percussors used individually or in tandem uh, can evoke changes in the body that help physiology restore health and unclog the body in ways that nothing else will do. So. We need a percussion academy, and I hope that you and others interested in this information will support the work of the, crani of the percussion academy as we uh, put out this information and begin to develop the percussion academy and the Fulford Percussion Teaching Foundation. Okay, enough of that. Um,